Lord of the Flies is William Golding's famous novel that he wrote just after World War II. It follows the story of a group of young schoolboys who get stranded on an island during an imagined nuclear war period after a plane crash. At the beginning, Ralph, a boy with fair hair, meets Piggy, a fat boy with glasses, on a deserted island in the Pacific. They find a conch shell and Ralph blows into it. The sound calls out to all the boys, including Jack, a red-haired leader of a choir out of the jungle. The only survivors are a group of boys between the ages of 6 and 12. The boys decide to vote for a chief, and all the kids, with the exception of Jack, choose Ralph because he is strong, the eldest, good-looking, and polite. Additionally, Jack is humiliated by being voted down. Jack, Ralph, and Simon decide to take a trip to the top of the mountain to distinguish their location and they discover that they are on an island. Ralph later explains their situation to other kids and comfort them by saying that they have landed on a good island with food. He also sets a rule that when they have meetings, the person holding the conch gets to speak, representing civilization and order. During one of the meetings, the youngest boy uses the conch and asks Ralph about the beastie thing on the island. Ralph says there is no beast, but Jack says he will hunt it. Ralph states that they have to make a fire on the mountain to produce smoke, so if ships pass, they will see the smoke and rescue the boys. He later uses Piggy's glasses to light it, but the fire goes out of control and ruins a part of the forest. Later in their life on the island, Jack leads his choir to hunt for a pig, though they cannot catch anything. On Ralph's side, he recognizes the importance of shelter, but everyone other than Simon drifts off to play, leaving Ralph to complete the last of the shelter. Jack and Ralph get into a fight. Meet! Shelter! Meet! Because both are trying to do something important, and both end up becoming frustrated because they are not getting enough help and cannot understand each other's difficulties. Later, Jack decides to paint his face because he thinks he is too civilized and easy to spot because of his pale face and bushes, causing the pigs to run away. By painting his face, Jack feels confident he will be able to catch a pig. Jack ends up killing a pig after all, but because he was so preoccupied, he let the signal fire go out. On the beach, Ralph sees ships pass by, but when he, Simon, and Piggy run up to the mountains, it's too late to start another fire, and the ships disappear. Ralph confronts his failure with Jack, causing them to get into another argument. Jack feels humiliated and angry, so he smacks Piggy and breaks his glasses. Later that day, Ralph calls another meeting and finds out that most of the kids are afraid of the beast. While he tries to deny that idea, Jack states that he does not fear the beast because he is strong and capable of hunting. That night, while the kids are asleep, an air battle happens in the sky and a dead pilot lands on the island near the mountaintop. Two kids resting near the signal fire see the dead man, think it's the beast, and run off to tell the others. On another day, Ralph, Jack, and other older kids go search for the beast. After searching the entire island, they decide to hike to the mountaintop. The sun had already set, but Jack insists to keep going, so they climb up. They see the beast and run in terror back to the camp. When they got back from the mountaintop, Jack and Ralph start another argument. Jack tries to persuade the other kids to revote and let him be the chief, but no one supports him. Jack feels humiliated and leaves the group, saying that anyone who wants to hunt can join him. Later, many of the older boys secretly join Jack's team. Jack later kills a pig with his tribe and puts the pig's head on a stick. Simon, who often walks off by himself, hallucinates the head, also known as the Lord of the Flies. The head laughs as he tells Simon that the beast lives inside the boys and is not something they can hunt. Simon goes to the mountain and finds out the truth of the dead pilot. When he tries to tell the boys about his finding, he runs into the boys' violent dance and is killed by them. That night, Jack also stole the glasses from Piggy. The next morning, Piggy, holding the conch, says that he wants his glasses back, but when they arrive to the location of Jack and his tribe, Jack and Ralph start a big fight. While they are arguing, a boy dislodges a huge stone, which shatters the conch and kills Piggy. Jack later decides that in order to be the only leader on the island, he has to kill Ralph. Ultimately, Jack sets the whole island on fire. As Ralph runs towards the beach, a British naval officer arrives to investigate all the smoke caused by the fire. Ralph tries to explain to the officer what happened, but starts weeping. 
Golden shows a microscopic society and illustrates how humans all contain primitive instinct in their minds, and without rules or conduct, it will allow people to become enveloped in savagery. In the book, Golden uses various ways to demonstrate the theme, which includes the use of symbols and characterization. The two main symbols are the conch shell and the beast. In the book, the existence of the conch represents civilization and orders. Ralph has to constantly remind Jack and the others that people who haven't got the conch can't talk because it's the rule, and rules are the only thing we've, the boys, got. It is first used as a way to gather the boys on the island, and later function as a rule, but in the end, it gets destroyed when Piggy dies. This progress can also be shown through changes of the shell's physical appearance. At first, it has a strong and vibrant color, which showed that the idea of civilization was still strong. Later. As its color fades, the civilized behavior of the boys fade as well, and their savage actions and thoughts increase. Lastly, when the shell breaks, the last bit of civilized behavior disappears within the boys. The conch represents the stages of the boys turning away from civilization and resorting to savage behavior, and as the conch, a symbol of civilized society, becomes insignificant to the boys. Golding foreshadows the savagery that begins to emerge in each boy. On the opposite side of the conch, the beast in the book represents the savagery and evil inside each human being from birth. At the beginning, the boys believed that there was an actual beast on the island. As the plot continues, the older boys became more and more brutal and their belief in the beast grows. After Simon's hallucination of the beast when it tells him, fancy thinking the beast was something you could hunt and kill. You knew, didn't you? I'm a part of you? It is clear that the beast is not literally a beast, but a symbol of savagery that exists in each boy's mind. By trying to hunt the imagined beast, the boys themselves acquire attributes of inhumanity and eventually become beast-like themselves. Aside from the symbol, Golding uses Jack's character development to demonstrate the theme. At the beginning of the book, during an argument between Jack and Ralph, Ralph's like Piggy. He says things like Piggy. He isn't a proper chief. Jack clutched the conch to him. He's a coward himself. When Jack clutches the conch, it demonstrates that he still has respect for the rules. However, his defiance of Ralph foreshadows the clash he will have with rules and limits, activating the savage nature hidden within him. Jack found the throat and the hot blood spattered over his hands. The sow collapsed under them and they were heavy and fulfilled upon. Then Jack grabbed Maurice and rubbed the stuff over his cheeks. Therefore, later as Jack finds pure enjoyment when he slaughters the pig, we can conclude that in Jack's situation, a single taste of freedom and violence allows his natural instincts to take over, abandoning his upbringing and expressing his inner savage by slowly revealing it through the small actions leading up to the major event of his first kill. Overall, in William Golding's Lord of the Flies, he uses symbols and the character development of Jack to illustrate the theme that without a construction of rules and orders, people will become savage. In the book, Golding uses children as the main characters to represent all people. By pointing out the hidden savagery that lives in the boys, he is also stating that brutal nature is the defect of all humankind. Golding develops his central claim. Rules exist to prevent the emergency of the savagery that resides in everyone. It is only adherence to laws that keeps people from worshipping the Lord of the Flies.